Hello friends, welcome to Reno's Englishpedia. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Mrs. Reno Bansal and I teach classes 10th, 11th and 12th. Today we are going to study the chapter Journey to the End of the Earth written by Tishani Doshi. This chapter is about Tishani's voyage to Antarctica which is the planet's past, present and the future. Antarctica is the coldest, driest and windiest continent in the world. Tishani Doshi was born on 9th December 1975. She is an Indian poet, journalist and a dancer based in Chennai. She was born in Madras to a Welsh mother and a Gujarati father. She works as a freelance journalist contributing articles to leading newspapers and has received many awards for her work. The author's first article on a visit to Antarctica was published in the New York Times on February 24, 2006. The author's article on a visit to Antarctica was also published in Verve, that is the spirit of today's woman on March 22, 2006. Antarctica contains all past knowledge of the planet in its fossils. The present and the future are visible in the breaking ice sheets and melting of the glaciers. It is the young generation which holds the key to save the planet. The lessons revolves around the world's most preserved place, Antarctica. Not many people have been there, but out of the few that have, Tishani Doshi is one of them, a South Indian who went on an expedition with a group of teenagers affiliated with Students on Ice program. She takes young minds to different ends of the world. Thus, it gives an insight into how Antarctica is the place you should visit to have a glimpse of the past, present and the future in its realist form. From an examination point of view, there are certain key points which we need to keep in our mind when we are studying this chapter. These points are formation of Antarctica, how it was formed, reaction of the author on reaching Antarctica, then we come to the point study of Antarctica, how it impacts the human mind and its impact on the environment. We need to know about students on ice program, the lessons to be learned once we see Antarctica and the description of the memorable walk on the ocean. All these things lead to certain questions which are raised in the mind after seeing the situation of Antarctica. We now come to the first main point that how Antarctica was formed from Gondwana continent. 650 million years ago, a giant amalgamated southern supercontinent, Gondwana, existed. It centered roughly around the present-day Antarctica. Humans hadn't arrived on the global scene as yet, and the climate was warm. It hosted a huge variety of flora and fauna, and Gondwana thrived for 500 million years. It was when the dinosaurs were wiped out and the age of the mammals got underway that the landmass was forced to separate into countries, giving the globe its present shape. In a period of million years, India pushed northwards and jammed against Asia to buckle its crust and form the Himalayas. South America drifting off to join North America opened up the Drake Passage to create a gold circumpolar current which kept Antarctica frigid, desolate and at the bottom of the world. The Antarctica circumpolar current is an ocean current that flows clockwise from the west to the east around Antarctica. The current is circumpolar due to the lack of any landmass connecting with Antarctica and this keeps the warm ocean waters away from Antarctica, enabling the continent to maintain its huge ice sheet. The study of Antarctica is very important in order to understand the past of the globe and to have an insight into its future. 
visiting antarctica now is to be a part of that history we get a grasp of where we have come from and where we could possibly be heading it is the best place to research and understand about cordilleran folds and the precambrian granite shields basically these are the mountain ranges and the low elevation continents we also come to know about the play of ozone and carbon and the extinction and the evolution process the next point that we are going to study is the feelings of the author the first feeling that she felt upon reaching antarctica was one of relief this was because her journey which started from madras involved crossing nine time zones six checkpoints three bodies of water and at least as many ecospheres she traveled for over 100 hours in a combination of a car and aeroplane and a ship it was immediately followed up by profound wonder wonder at its immensity its isolation and the fact that at one time india and antarctica were part of the same landmass that is gondwana that means that they were geographically connected the other feelings were freedom from anxiety wonder at the beauty of antarctica and finally seeing the beauty of the balance on the earth tishani doshi was filled with great rapture the narrator wondered at the beauty of antarctica and found it blissful but it was also a chilling prospect because for a sun worshiping south indian two weeks in a place where there are 90% of the earth's total ice volumes is a chilling prospect the circulatory and metabolic functions are affected that is biologically and physically your functions are affected in antarctica and the scope of antarctica boggles the imagination it is like walking into a giant ping pong ball which is devoid of any human markers there are no signs of any human life all earthly sense of perspective and time are lost the visual scale ranges from the microscopic to the mighty that is from the midges and the mites antarctica is also home to the blue whales along with the blue whales we can also see limitless expanse of icebergs which are as big as countries the largest recorded iceberg was the size of belgium antarctica actually boggles the mind the surreal 24 hour austral summer light are beautiful the days are never ending with the sunlight in antarctica there is a pervasive silence which is interrupted only by the occasional avalanche or the carving of ice sheets which consecrates the place and declares it untouched by humans and their inventions it is a setting that forces you to ponder upon the earth's geological history and helps you foresee future which for humans doesn't seem very pleasant we now come to the next point which is the human impact on the environment human beings have been on the earth for about 12000 years which converts into a few seconds on the geological clock in that short amount of time humans have changed the face of the environment for worse as we have exploited each and every resource humans dominate nature by establishing cities and mega cities we are encroaching upon nature the rapid increase of human population has left us battling with other species for limited resources the uncontrolled burning of fossil fuels has created a blanket of carbon dioxide around the world which is surely increasing the average global temperature tishani doshi traveled to antarctica with the students on ice program which is headed by a canadian jof green earlier he used to take celebrities and the retired rich curiosity seekers to antarctica for money he gradually got tired of those people who gave nothing to the earth in return 
and decided to take school students there. He did this because he firmly believed that young minds could learn about the potential hazards regarding the environment which our earth faces and act in a positive manner to save the earth. He realized that they could be easily sensitized. With Students on Ice program, he offers the future generation of policy makers a life-changing experience at an age when they are ready to absorb, learn and most importantly act. The program was a success as children saw with their own eyes the collapsing ice shelves and the retreating glaciers and realized that the threat of global warming was real. The Students on Ice program aims at studying the ecological processes in Antarctica. The narrator works on this project on board academic Sherkolsky. He takes school students on a trip to Antarctica. He aims at providing them with inspiring educational opportunities which will help foster a new awareness, understanding and respect for our planet in young impressionable minds. This program has been in operation for six years. There are many lessons to be learned from Antarctica. The biggest lesson is that if we take care of small things, the big issues are easily resolved. Antarctica is the perfect place to study how little changes in the environment can have big repercussions. Now the question is why? Why is Antarctica the best place for study? The answer is that it is due to her simple ecosystem and lack of biodiversity. The microscopic phytoplankton are the little grasses on the, of the sea which nourish and sustain the entire southern ocean's food chain, that is the marine animals and birds. These single-celled plants use the sun's energy to assimilate carbon and synthesize organic compounds by photosynthesis. The scientists want that a further depletion in the ozone layer will affect the activities of the phytoplankton, which will affect the lives of all the marine animals and birds of the region and ultimately the entire global carbon cycle. In the parable of the phytoplankton, there is a great metaphor for existence. Take care of the small things and the big things will automatically fall into place. At 65.55 degrees south of the equator, the Shukalski had wedged into a thick white stretch of ice between the peninsula and the Tadpole Island. This prevented it from going any further. All were instructed to climb down the gangplank and walk on the ocean, which resulted in a memorable walk on the ocean for Tishani Doshi and all her other student friends. All 52 members, kitted out in Gore-Tex eye shoes and sunglasses, walked on a stark whiteness that seemed to spread out forever, a never-to-be-forgotten experience. Underneath their feet was a meter-thick ice pack and underneath that, 180 meters of living, breathing salt water. In the periphery that is nearby, the crab eater seals were stretching and sunning themselves on ice floes. This was nothing short of a revelation. During the return trip, the author was still overwhelmed with the beauty of balance in play on our planet. It gave rise to many questions in her mind. The first question was, how would it be if Antarctica were to become the warm place that it once used to be? The next question was, will we be around to see it or would we have gone the way of the dinosaurs, mammoths and the woolly rhinos? This base question basically meant that will human beings survive on earth? However, she is full of optimism about the teenagers. They still have the idealism to save the world after having made the trip to Antarctica and she believes that a lot can happen in the next million years. There are many unanswered questions about climate change which cause alarm. The first question is 
will the west antarctica ice sheet melt entirely the second question is will the gulf stream ocean current be disrupted and the third most important question is will it be the end of the world as we know it antarctica plays a crucial role in this debate it is the only place in the world which has never sustained a human population and therefore remains relatively pristine in this respect it holds in its ice cores half a million years old carbon records trapped in its layers of ice thus the earth's past present and future lie hidden in the antarctica with this we come to the end of the chapter and the video i hope that you liked it and would be encouraged to share it with your friends please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel as i really need the encouragement this provides also do not forget to press the bell icon for further notifications as i am going to come up with several videos which will help you to revise and achieve your desired grades in the forthcoming board examination thank you